Senate Democrats are calling top executives from the five biggest oil companies to testify today in our nation's capital. And joining us now is Senator Debbie Stabenow with more on today's congressional hearing. Good morning, Senator. Well, good morning, Dick and Alicia. This is going to be a very interesting today. I, I sit on the finance committee. We will be bringing in the top five executives, as you mentioned. And the big question is, why on earth with the highest corporate profits ever uh, do they need to have taxpayers subsidizing their uh, profits? And we, we get hit twice. We're, we're subsidizing their uh, profits through tax subsidies, and at the same time, we're getting gouged at the pump. So uh, it makes no sense, and these a good place to start to cut the federal government spending and pay down the debt would be to stop these subsidies. Now, I imagine you've been inundated with calls from constituents because of the rising gas prices. And what, what are they asking you to do? Well, people are saying, what can we do? And, you know, I, and I come home every Friday and go back to Washington on Monday. And so I'm paying the same prices in Michigan. And it's, it's outrageous what's happening. You know, right now, people are paying as much in gasoline as they're paying for health care and pretty close to what they're having to pay for groceries. And so, and when you're trying to get to work and get the kids to school and so on, it's, it is an incredible burden. So people are saying, what can we do? And, and my answer is, well, there's several things, short term, long term. Short term, we've got to stop uh, being uh, hit twice by subsidizing these, uh, these very high prices while the companies are making the highest profits of any corporations in the world. A lot of these tax subsidies were put in place 100 years ago when it made sense, doesn't make sense now, and we could save billions of dollars uh, towards the, the debt. And secondly, we need to tell the companies that are holding on to 60 million acres of land for lease in order to drill in this country and they're choosing not to drill they they buy up the leases so that their competitor can't drill and then they don't drill and so we're i'm part of uh, a group that's saying uh, use it or lose it if you have these leases you've been given this uh, land to uh, drill either drill or give it up so somebody else can and then finally we need to give consumers choices uh, real choices like our great new electric vehicles you know when we see what's happening now uh, in michigan people going uh, back to work these new alternative uh, energy vehicles we need real choices whether it's e85 at the pump or natural gas uh, or clean diesel or a great new electric car. That's where we really need to be going. Well, we appreciate your time this morning. I wish we had more time to talk because I know the other side, the oil companies say that if you take the tax breaks away, the prices are going to go higher. So uh, we and appreciate well, you joining us. And let's just say there's no way that's true because then that would mean if you gave them more taxpayer money, the price would go down. And that certainly hasn't happened. And that's just the other side. You know, we're trying to be fair from that standpoint. <laughs> we appreciate you joining us this morning, Senator. And of course, you you can count on ActionNews and WXYZ.com for complete coverage of today's hearing on Capitol Hill.